Hi, I'm Extra Yogurt and welcome back to another speed build. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, then welcome back. And thanks for checking out my video again. Um, as you guys can see, this is a very, very, very long speed build. Um, so I hope y'all get comfortable and hopefully watch it to the end. Even if you don't watch it all the way through, just like skip to the end if you want because i took 94 screenshots of this lot i was so proud of it i was so happy um and i think you guys will really like it um i actually ended up spending 11 hours and nine minutes total on this lot which is actually a lot faster than usual so i can tell i'm getting a bit better at at furnishing and decorating um but yeah so uh hopefully you're cool with hanging out with me for an hour and a half that's basically like a, a short film so um i named it lake breeze country club because i wanted it to be built off in the lake breeze area which um i call it the lake breeze area because it's next to lake breeze cabins and lake breeze park which is like my little kind of wilderness slash camping area of the neighborhood um and you know i just figured like country clubs are usually probably like tucked away like off in the country obviously or off like in a woodsy area um so yeah i felt like it was very fitting i uh i basically took on this project with no idea what a country club was without ever having seen one in person so i had to do a lot of research and kind of look at different pictures and kind of research like to get an idea of what's actually in a country club so a few things about this build um first off it is on the biggest lot that i could possibly use as usual um i kind of feel like at this point south valley city has just kind of been my like let me see what I can do kind of neighborhood. Um, I've done like a lot of learning honestly with like building and decorating especially. And I'm just like pushing my game and my computer to its limits. Um, but like I always say, I will, like I do really wanna make more gameplay friendly lots in the future. Um, definitely for our next neighborhood, that is gonna be my goal. Um, but yeah, we've, we've already come this far with a ridiculously big lot. So I was kind of like, you know what? Let me just, let me just, I may as well just finish out South Valley City this way. Um, especially when it comes to a country club. I mean, I had to fit this huge building plus a golf course, plus like a water feature. And I just didn't know like what else was I supposed to do? So, um, but yeah, so just like, I mentioned for the animal shelter, unfortunately the first time I had my sims visit this lot it crashed, but after that like it has loaded up completely smoothly, um, like I, I did it like three or four different times just to make sure. So just a warning, you know, save your game before you uh, you have your sims visit this lot. <laughs> this lot. Um, but if you don't think you'll be downloading this lot. I still hope you enjoy the build and just um, some relaxing Sims 2 footage with me. And so the second thing is that um, there is very, very minimal CC used on this lot. Um, I had downloaded a tennis court um, off of Mod The Sims and then I also um, downloaded a golf cart, a, a statue, um, from an MDP that's me uh, on on Tumblr uh, the person who made the tennis court I cannot remember their handle right now but um, as usual I will have everything linked in the description for you guys to check out um, but all of those objects were allowed to be included um, with the lot so you don't have to worry about downloading them separately and yeah I just feel like they added a really nice touch to the lot even though you know it's just a few small things but um, it really added that extra little bit of pizzazz okay so here you see me like doing something weird but 
I basically was using the walls to kind of draw out a template of where I wanted the foundation to go because I find working with walls much easier than foundation. Um, and uh, this pond in the back was really important to me. So I wanted to make sure I was getting the size of everything correct back there. Um, I did actually sketch out a little uh, like rough draft of this lot on paper before I started building. So that helped me as well. Um, if you guys ever struggle with like knowing where to begin with your lots, always just, you know, kind of like figure out what you want to prioritize right so like to me like for this lot the layout was my number one priority i wanted it to look a very like i wanted it to look a very specific way and have a very specific flow to it i needed it to kind of hang off the edge of the hill um i needed there to be water i wanted it to have like a whole like walk around um walkway situation um, I needed room for a tennis court. I needed room for at least a two hole golf golf course. Um, I wanted that little like walkway area with the fountain in the front, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, I just sketched it out beforehand and yeah. Um, if you're more focused on the exterior and that that's like your main, main priority, um, then I recommend building out the front and or back of your lot first, whether that be with just walls or walls and foundation. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't make sense, then I guess the best way I can explain it is just, just prioritize like what's most important to you for the build. Um, honestly, usually the way that I build is by first drawing out how I want the exterior to look with walls and then kind of from there is where I figure out the layout after um, so this was kind of different for me all right y'all so I just looked on mod the sims and the tennis court cc is by someone named kaz 100 and um the crazy part is that this person uploaded this tennis court in 2005. Like, if that doesn't show you how amazing The Sims 2 is, then I don't know what to tell you because I was five years old in 2005. So the fact that I'm using CC from that long ago and it still looks really good, um, I mean, that's just crazy. That is so crazy to me. But uh, another thing I noticed is, y'all, I say the word like, a lot like it is an infection i say it so much and i'm so sorry if that's really annoying i just cannot help it i'm really sorry but here i am just kind of uh doing some foundation gymnastics to get the floor tiles that i want uh on on top of the building um now i'm like straining not to say the word like but uh yeah so i mean a lot of columns a lot of walls a lot of balconies a lot of fences uh that's that's pretty much what you're gonna see for this for this build uh and it was just it was a mess i mean i am not in favor of prioritizing the layout whatsoever it is just so difficult to get everything to the correct proportion that you want it to be and then you know like I, I feel like things scale pretty well for me in the sims but not always so uh i really kept trying to tell myself to keep keep the building small keep it small and of course it still ended up massive but um me just telling myself that actually ended up giving me a much better outcome than what it would have been uh, because I just I just wanted to fit the entire world inside of this country club like I wanted it to have a million different things but I kind of had to settle on like two or three different functions um anyway so I normally am not able to use that that octagonal roof for anything so I was really excited to use it this time um I wanted to create kind of a 
I don't know what to call it. Is it like a church bell? I don't know. Like that thing with the bell in it. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like that kind of look where the top is open and like inaccessible. So that's what that's all about. And then that middle part there will actually be an accessible balcony. And um, I really could talk y'all through this entire video, but I don't, I don't really know if that's necessary. Um, y'all will see what I'm doing as we go. Okay, you guys, so building this tennis court took all like seven of my brain cells <laughs> to band together and, and make it into what it was. And then especially when I had to scooch it over one tile, it, it was very uh, cumbersome. But regardless, I'm still very grateful for this person, CC. I think it's really cute. Um, it is not functional, uh, but it does, I mean, it offers a nice look and your Sims can still like walk over there and like hang out on the court I guess um they could play catch or, or something like that um but yeah and then here I am like having to scooch it over and oh I mean obviously it's sped up but this was so taxing on my brain for some reason it was like I just couldn't get it together it was like hurting my eyes or something but Anyway, that part is over now and I ended up giving the tennis court its own little, uh, what do you call it? Gazebo, I guess. Um, because, you know, the game doesn't have really like tall mesh fences or mesh fences at all. And uh, that's typically what's on a tennis court. So um, I do end up deleting those those windows later on. But, uh, but yeah, I just kind of did my own thing okay so there was a portion where i forgot to hit record and so that's why you see that um the fence has completely changed uh but yeah okay so i don't know if you guys recognize this song but this is like my voiceover anthem when i hear this song it gets so much easier for me to talk to you guys so anyways okay so now we're on to like making the front look uh look appealing and i did not know at all what look i was going for in the beginning i really wanted to give it like more of like a french look um and then when i figured out that i was not gonna be able to pull that off the way that i wanted to i um I just ended up going with like the Hamptons kind of beach house look, which is super cute too. But just so you guys know, that wasn't my original, original plan, um, as you can see. But, but yeah, see like though, it just, it just wasn't working out. And these right here, these happen to be, or not these, but those square windows or rectangle windows those white rectangle windows happen to be my favorite window in the game and so of course naturally i was like i'm gonna put a million of these windows uh and everything else in the build is gonna have to work around those windows and that's exactly what i did um so yeah change the roof to a gray roof and um 
I mean, this this build, it, it goes under like several transformations throughout this process. I, I, I just felt so lost with what I was doing and uh, I just had to kind of trust the process. Um, I added like a little balcony here and at first I was gonna do the glass thing, like the see-through tile thing, but I wanted to keep this down to the um, the two two uh, pieces of CC that I mentioned, the tennis court and the golf court, golf cart, <laughs> and I refused to use any other CC outside of that. I, I just refused, so I restricted myself to um, to that, and I ended up just uh, doing this little, you know, like the half fence. Um, what do you call it? It's like a, a like an overhang, like the half fence overhang thing that's like open. I ended up doing that and I really love the look of that. I think that was um, far better looking than the, than the glass would have been. I think it would have been a little bit too blue and like, um, I don't know. I just imagine you stand under that and you just bake under the sun. Uh, but anyways. I think it was around this part where I started to like see the vision and get kind of excited about it. Um, but yeah.
So y'all, I really apologize for how much I like pan the camera around and like kind of go back and forth. I cannot help it. I feel like I have this, this weird thing where I have to like constantly check if all the windows and doors are like pointing in the right direction and like, I don't know, I'm just really obsessive about, <laughs> about things like that. Um, but hopefully it hasn't made you too dizzy. Um, anyways, uh, I can't believe I used to have my videos sped up even faster than this, which is crazy. But, um, but yeah, I would have loved to slow it down a little more, but this would have easily been like a two hour video. Uh, and I didn't really want that. So I don't know. You guys let me know how the speed is for y'all. Um, yeah, just, just let me know and I will make adjustments accordingly. Um. But yeah, so also I'm curious, what do you guys, how do you guys feel about like uh, Sims, not just Sims 2, but Sims builds in general that are like multi-parted, -part um, where there's like more than one part or they like split the build up into like multiple parts. Is that, um, I I'm not a huge fan of that, but it, I want to know, is that a problem for y'all? Like, is that something that's, uh, for some reason, like something just tells me like whenever you split videos into multiple parts nine times out of ten like uh, people will be less interested in watching the following parts and so they won't really get the full scope of what you're doing and that's what worries me but i'm curious if you're if you're hearing this part let me know um Anyways, so here I am doing an indoor pool since there was no space for an outdoor pool. I actually really wanted to make the tennis court indoors as well, but there is just no space. Um, relative to the size of this lot, this uh, the building is actually very small, uh, if you guys can tell. So that really surprised me and was kind of exciting for me too because it meant I didn't have to struggle finding out what I was going to use uh, like every little bit of space for it was very cut and clear um is that the saying cut and clear cut and dry <laughs> cut and dry um so yeah here i am messing with the windows again unnecessarily um that probably added like 30 minutes onto the video by itself me just constantly messing with the with the windows and doors uh did i say did I say mirrors earlier? I meant to say windows. Um, anyway, here I am adding like uh, this brick walkway detail to the to the uh, the wraparound walkway. Um, well, I guess it's not it's not a complete wraparound, but it's it's a almost it's a semi semi wraparound. So, um, so yeah, I really liked that brick. I feel like it uh, was gonna contrast uh really nicely with the light siding color that i would be using later uh, but yeah I, I i really like the walkway um i know it seems kind of useless to have it the walkway just stop right there in the middle but there is a beautiful view from that angle um over the golf course and also onto the giant lake uh outside of the lot so i thought that was really nice um, here I am just adding some some area, areas for shrubs and plants and flowers. Uh, I end up adding a parking lot in this area right there. Um, but yeah, I love planner boxes, you guys. The planner boxes are everything to me. I feel like they just, they just add some really nice dimension uh, to the lot. And then also... You guys can see me using the faux soil tiles and um, obviously you have to use those on the foundations if you want to make planner boxes, but I used them directly on the ground because I knew that I was going to be changing stuff and changing up the terrain and moving stuff around so much. I did not want to have to keep repainting and respraying. Um, the soil paint if that makes sense I, it would have drove me insane so i just had to go the faux route and put down soil tiles instead um, that was so much easier to deal with and then here i am just trying to figure out what wallpapers i'm going to use for the exterior uh, and as much as i love that weathered shingle those weathered shingles look 
that weather jingles look um i struggle with words y'all i'm sorry it 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 was just it wasn't giving me like royal like fancy it was it was just looking kind of dingy to me um so i ended up using this uh smooth stone wallpaper for a lot of the uh, stone accents on the outside and i went with this cool tone like whitish or white kind of bluish siding and um there wasn't really i mean there was there was kind of like uh a plan to how i did the wallpaper but when it came to like the pillars and what was gonna be what i just went with what looked good i just tried to make it look all balanced as balanced as i could um yeah it's all about the details y'all it's all about the details i spent a lot of time uh focused on all the little details of this lot because i i didn't just want it to be this giant building with no substance i really wanted it to be special from every angle and really nice from every angle that you looked at it so um so yeah Okay, so while you guys watch me struggle to build this very simple staircase, I thought I'd share a little bit of what I read about country clubs when I was like looking up stuff about them, trying to figure out really what it was. Um, so apparently in the US, the first country club was founded in the 1880s uh, after the Civil War. And it was basically like a way for wealthy people to meet other wealthy people and just enjoy their money together, I guess and like network and stuff um and it started off with things like hunting and stuff like that um and then like kind of slowly evolved into like golf and swimming and tennis and kind of like um just you know like safe safe sports like that um and yeah so i always wondered why country clubs were so expensive and apparently most country clubs are private organizations um 
so you know they kind of got to support themselves and they can also like charge what they want i guess and um i didn't know anything about golf before but apparently getting tea times are is a really difficult thing to do and with country clubs you're basically like it's it's like a giant golf course that basically like only very few people have access to so you don't really have to worry as much about getting time to to golf like you don't have to wait hours and hours for people ahead of you to golf um and because like people who pay for country club memberships are usually like uh, you know, like more advanced at golf, they golf faster than the average person. So um, there's that. And then there's like swimming lessons and golf lessons and, and other things like that. And yeah, so I, I mean, I don't know if, if that really helps any of y'all understand what a country club is or where it came from. But um, after what I read, that's just kind of what, what I got from it. And I don't know i think it's really interesting um i don't know apparently they're kind of dying out um and i i don't i don't blame people who are like giving up their country club memberships because i was reading that some of these country clubs are like thousands of dollars just for an initiation fee and then monthly fees on top of that and you still have to pay for like you know golf caddies and lessons and it's just crazy i thought it was so interesting um it was saying online that there were like more affordable country clubs, but I have yet to actually find one. So I don't know if you guys golf, if you're into golfing, let me know. What what, what do you know about country clubs? What do you want to share with, with the class? <laughs>
Okay, you guys, so when it came to the actual golf course portion, I just looked up some golf course layouts and they all kind of have this similar kind of like wonky curvy shape going on with them and they're all kind of like long um some kind of look like a boomerang so uh i just kind of freehanded it and well obviously i freehanded it but i just kind of i don't know i just went off of those pictures and just did like this one actually looks exactly like a footprint but anyways um they, uh, I added little sand pits and I even like lowered the terrain a bit to make it like dip down um, and so from what I noticed there is that little dark green area where you start putting um, or whatever it is driving and then there's that bigger dark green area where the actual hole would be and then there's obviously the sand pits and then um, the mode area is like you know the bulk like the body of the golf course hole um i'm learning y'all bear with me uh so so yeah so i just kind of did what i could um did what i imagine it should look like uh don't be too too harsh on me <laughs> um when i play tested this lot the sims are actually able to to walk around this area pretty excuse me pretty um sorry y'all Every time I, I start recording, <laughs> sorry y'all, but when I play, play tested this lot, yeah, the Sims were able to walk around this area really easily, even over the really bumpy parts. Um, they were able to walk from each side of the golf course. Um, if, you know, if there were bigger, longer lots, I would have loved to make the golf course much, much bigger, but I just, I just squeezed in what I could and, you know, yeah, I mean, I, I think it works. I think it works out. Um, they're not actually functional anyway, so there's that. However, there is an invisible mini golf mod um, for your Sims to use. It's it's obviously um, it's not included in this download, but I will still link it in the description in case you guys want to download it. Then you can have your um, you can go ahead and like unlock your sims career rewards um get the the mini mini golf putter object uh use the invisible like mini golf mod and it'll look like it, you they can take it with them and it'll look like your sims are playing golf does that make sense i know that's a lot um i'll, I'll explain it in this in the description for you guys but but yeah it's just uh it's just a golf course um, look, I guess, more than it is actually functional. I mean, your Sims can fish in that pond, so I guess it does have some kind of functionality. Um, but yeah, so here I am finally working on the interior. And and um, the way that I've split up the inside is that I have a pool table area. I have a main lobby seating area. I have a bar area, um, a gym, an indoor pool. There's two sets of men's and women's bathrooms. There's a kitchen and the entire upstairs is a restaurant um, with both with lots of indoor and outdoor seating. So, um, so yeah, uh, all of those things were things that I when I Googled it, like uh, I guess most country clubs tend to have. So, so yeah, I, I think it worked out. Um, Believe it or not, my favorite room or section in this entire build in the end is the indoor pool room. And um, if you guys are hearing hearing me right now, please, if you don't do anything else, even if you're about to leave the video right now, I really want to know what your favorite section of the build is, whether it's the exterior, the golf course, the landscaping, the the bar the pool the restaurant i really am curious to know and yeah so let me know in the comments what your favorite section or part of the build is and i would love to to read it um i always do my best well not do my best i do always respond to all of y'all's comments they're so much fun to read and i really appreciate them um yeah i mean the only there's only been three comments that i didn't that i haven't like t 
typed an actual response to but I just gave them a thumbs up um, and that pretty much only happens when I just when it's a comment that like I want you to know I've acknowledged it but I also I don't know what to respond with if that makes sense um, whether that be good or bad I guess but I, I've never gotten any bad comments but um, but yeah anyway so now we've moved on to the first set of bathrooms in the restaurant portion and instead of going with these tacky bathroom stalls because you know this is a country club and things are like a little nicer than that I built my own toilet stalls and it came out looking really nice there was just enough space for me to squeeze in everything I needed to and the bathrooms that I add to the indoor pool section um, have a, a similar layout but they're decorated differently so um, so yeah and I know there's like a giant window in one of the stalls I end up putting a curtain on these windows so just pretend that the curtains can close we're just gonna pretend that before someone uses the bathroom they can close the curtains um, but yeah
sorry i haven't been talking as much in this video y'all i just i just didn't have a lot to say about this build i mean i feel like once we got over the the build mode portion for the most part um i felt like it was kind of smooth sailing from there uh i i can absolutely feel like how much more efficient and better i've gotten at furnishing and decorating over the past like year um because like i said this build although it did take me 11 hours it it took me much less time than i anticipated that it would um i have this one build uh plaza 603 on my channel um and it's a really cute build but that uh, that build which i i thought was fairly simple looking back on it now that build took me nine hours total and i feel like this this one as far as the the building part at least was much more complex and complicated and it still only took me 11 hours i don't know i don't know what what is y'all's average timeline for for big build projects like this um because i tend to kind of hover in the eight to 12 hour range um recently uh, recently though as, as far as houses go i've been taking a lot less time building houses because you know we've been doing the homes on the grid series and all of those houses have been budget heavily budget budget restricted so there really is only so much i can do um but when it comes to community lots when i'm going all out and i'm doing a big one like i take so so long um and honestly, I can't remember why I brought this up. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, I was saying how I wasn't talking much in the video. Um, but yeah, y'all, I do, uh, I definitely would pin this lot as my like top two, one of my top two favorites that I've ever built. I was just really proud of myself for, um, I guess, I don't know, like everything just really came together really nicely. Um, so yeah. Do you guys recognize this song from anything in particular, maybe? <laughs> um, this is actually from my my last Homes on the Grid episode, and I love this song so much. Uh, it's, it's just a really good song. Um, but anyways, if you guys noticed, I did try to add a few new songs into like my um, repository of, of uh, speed build songs because I've been using the same like 20 songs um, for the past year, which I mean, I don't think anyone's really bothered by it. I think it kind of has like a, a comforting feel to it, but I did try to add some new songs this time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope they weren't too slow. Um, but anyways, uh, best decorating advice I can give you guys is when in doubt, put a plant. When in doubt, put a plant, put a shelf, put a picture on the shelf, put, put books on the shelf, um, put, put a mirror, put a light, just, 
just bundle some cutesy little things together and you'll you'll get something that's cute i mean uh i feel like what it really comes down to is picking the right objects to go with each other um you can just i mean yeah it could be so simple like a lot of my decorating is usually just the bunching like you know, I have a mirror and then a plant next to it. Like right there, I, I have a shelf and I put a couple pictures on it or I stack shelves and I just put a bunch of knickknacks on it. Um, or I'll just put a plant and a light next to the plant, stuff like that. Uh, when you break it down little by little like that, it really makes the, the daunting task of decorating, especially big builds like this. Um, it really makes it a lot easier and seem a lot simpler. Um, but yeah, I, I think... A major part of it is just knowing what items to put together and for me that just comes from watching HGTV <laughs> or looking on Pinterest and just looking at different interior design and architecture and exterior design and all that so um so yeah I'm assuming most of y'all who watch my videos um like you're really into the building aspect of Sims 2 so um, that's why I kind of just am always popping up randomly sharing like building or decorating tips even if they weren't asked for but anyways um, here I am working on the indoor pool and there was I I really couldn't fit any lounge chairs um, any like lounge pool chairs so we just went with these and uh, we're just gonna pretend they're waterproof chairs and I think they look really, really nice with the little orange, brownish uh, speckles in the tile. Um, so yeah, it's just little little things like that uh, I notice can help you uh, make choices a lot easier. Um, hopefully that makes sense.
Okay, so it was around this point where I remembered that sometimes less is more and so I just kind of retracted the gym area back into its little corner because I felt like it looked really weird um, protruding that far out into the lobby and I also wanted more lobby space. So I went ahead and did that, um, picked out some cute couches and chairs uh, and just gave the gym its own kind of like little sectioned off area without it being too like jimmy i guess like it still looks like i guess very fancy i don't know how to how to describe it um uh, I, I was very selective about when and where i put curtains as well and i know it seems weird to put curtains on windows that are indoors 
Um, it also seems weird to put windows indoors in general, but uh, it just made sense to me, like uh, it, for the look of of the club. It just, I don't know. It, I think it just looks nice. And then also I imagine like um, if there's an event going on, like you wanna be able to close those curtains um, to the pool and to the gym and just kind of have the, the space sectioned off. By the way, please try to ignore my cat playing with her ball tower in the background. <laughs> um, anyways, so uh, I know this looks a mess right now, but I promise I do get it together uh, with the uh, furniture options. Um, I did think that those end tables were really cool and fancy looking, but it just maybe I think it was doing too much to have three of them. Uh, it was a little bit too busy so I do end up changing those into dark wood coffee tables um, and yeah um, but yeah th this build was just another example of like wow like there are so many objects in the sims 2 that I never even thought to use or like I never use or maybe I've seen it and have just never decided to use it um, and this is why like the possibilities with this game are endless because I'm always discovering new things and yeah so it's it's kind of crazy how how big of a jump we go from from the country club right now in this moment to the very end because when I tell you guys it's all about the details it is all about the details once I added lighting you know my little plants and decorations mirrors here and there um I just changed up this this wall color because I really was getting annoyed with that light green color it was just a little too childish for me to have all over the walls everywhere and besides there's green upstairs too but anyways it is just crazy how drastically the look of everything changes when it comes to those adding those little details um, and uh, it really pays off in the end uh, but yeah, I also end up adding uh, ceiling beams on the second floor and it looks really nice. So here I am making a little pedestal for that trophy looking thing. Uh, and I like to I, I um, like to imagine that that is like a golfing trophy of some sort, maybe a tennis trophy, some kind of sports trophy, even though I know it's not. We're just going to pretend. So it gets its own pedestal and um, yeah, so here I am just adding little plants, those same same plants from upstairs, uh, adding mirrors, when in doubt, add a mirror. <laughs> uh, and I also have that shiftable everything mod by La Mer on Mod The Sims, which by the way, all building mods that I use are always linked in the description. Um, and a big one, that, they're also the big, the big ones that I recommend to everyone to have. Um, and they don't do anything but make your game look better. They don't they don't impede on anything. They don't change the functionality of the game. Like I promise you they blend very nicely and seamlessly with your game. And that is the shiftable everything mod I just mentioned, the wall top replacement mod um, or replacement default that makes it white instead of brown and the floor edge tile recolor thing, bundle situation please listen to me y'all like if if like you guys can see like how clean of a look uh like my build mode has like the wall tops are white the um floor tile edges are this stucco gray color and it just makes everything just mesh together so much nicer and so much easier to match and and it makes pictures look better and it, it's just good all around so Shout out to those creators, always linked in my description, always, always, always. Anyways, here I am adding the ceiling beams because we had this big open ceiling that was just blank and that was not doing it for me. So I made sure to add these and I guess my only complaint is that I really wish that these would disappear in live mode. Like I wish that when you did the wall cutaway situation that they would disappear with the ceiling you know what i mean um but they don't they just sit there and and they are kind of bulky and in your way um but they did 
look really really nice on the ceiling so here i am back at the whatever you want to call it trophy sports trophy just giving it more of a kind of polished official look um so yeah it gets its own its own little podium here and i think it's really cute uh, you know i would have loved to be able to have space to put one of those big pianos but it just was not enough space and i kept thinking to myself i am so both happy and disappointed at the same time that the inside of the building actually didn't have very much space because like i said i mean the plus is i don't have to figure out what to do with the space the downside is i couldn't put a lot of things in the country club that i wanted to for example i really wanted a massage room um yeah i wanted a massage room i wanted an indoor tennis court so that i could have the pool outside um I think it would be cool to even have like a couple little bedrooms like um i think there are some country clubs where you can like rent a room to like stay the night or whatever uh yeah but here i am just adding the fountain outside and the little finishing touches well i shouldn't say finishing touches we actually still have maybe like 20 minutes left well in the build actually i think we only have like 10 minutes left but um yeah, I, I got so excited about this build, you guys. I am so in love with this build. I'm just happy with how it came out. It's a lot, I guess I wouldn't say it's a lot different from things that I usually build, but it's a little bit less modern and more classical, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, here I am just doing a bunch of landscaping and all this landscaping and lighting stuff will pretty much carry on into the end of the build and then we'll be getting into screenshots so i will talk to you guys um then
all right you guys hello again and welcome to the kind of final sample of the lot um one little thing you guys didn't see me do that i forgot to do but realized when i play tested the lot was add a restaurant podium so don't worry there is a restaurant podium in the lot in the file in the download file um but yeah uh, what do you guys think of those little flags are they childish or like is that cute because first i was trying to uh, find a way to make like a little golf hole flag for the course and that was my method but i realized that it was way too bulky for that and so i just decided to put a couple of them at the front because i thought it was a really cool thing that i feel like that i thought i invented or something <laughs> but um but yeah, you know, if you think they're ugly, if you think they're childish, then definitely just delete them. Go ahead and just knock those, sledgehammer those off of your, your lot. Uh, but anyways, um, thank you so much to MDP, that's me, for those golf carts because that just added that little cherry on top that this lot needed. And then Kaz100, um, I saw that they hadn't been on MTS in a long time, so I don't know, like maybe one day if by some chance you're watching this video thank you for your tennis court that you published um in 2005 i'm still using it <laughs> um so yeah here's here's the final cinematic shots i think it looks so nice and here we are with the screenshots my favorite part um i know choosing a thumbnail for this video is gonna be really difficult um i really just want to capture it the best I can uh, and and make you guys interested to watch um, I spent a lot of time on this I put a lot of thought into it and I am so happy with the outcome it's not it's not all the time that I'm this proud of something I've built I know I always say like oh I, I like it I love this lot da, 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 da. like I say that all the time but I feel very just like proud of this lot like I feel like I used to be a kid watching people build stuff like this and I would just think how I could never do that and I built it oh my gosh the slow like cueing the slow music while I'm saying that is so funny but anyways um yeah let me know what you guys think definitely let me know what your favorite section or part of this build is let me know how your sims like it if they're able to even visit the lot um if you're just here just to enjoy the sims 2 vibes with me that's that's good too i love that too um and uh yeah thank you guys so much for your support your nice comments your feedback um i just want to inspire as many people as i can to either start playing the sims start playing the sims 2 start playing the sims again open up their game when they haven't opened it up in a long time build something they're not used to building etc 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 um and uh let's just keep people interested in the sims 2 y'all anyways so here's the interior you guys can see that ceiling detail that i love so much oh gosh lighting is everything lighting is everything you guys without lighting this would not feel as moody and like warm as it does for sure um couldn't be happier with this build honestly i'm sorry y'all i'm just watching i'm just watching the screenshots along with you guys too so there's the bar um yeah uh it, it on the topic of of play testing that i mentioned earlier i am so glad that i finally like and play testing my lots and i feel like i was so i don't want to say dumb but i was very lazy to not be doing this before um because i mean it helped me point out find out something simple like oh i forgot a restaurant podium like little tiny mistakes like that um so easy to check just by having a sim visit the lot so bear with me y'all um as i try to get better and better with building uploading doing all the stuff technical stuff um here's the restaurant the indoor seating portion here's the overlook i think that 
two-story chandelier is so cute. I think it came with mansions and gardens. Um, there's that pesky restaurant podium that I forgot before. Um, and yeah, uh, whew, we're pretty much at the end of the video, y'all. I was talking so much and so fast. I didn't, I forgot to breathe. So <laughs> I also forgot to put a fridge in the kitchen, but that's okay. It still functions without it. Um, but yeah, you guys, we're pretty much at the end of the video. So once again, thank you so much. If you made it to this point, if you watched the entire video, please let me know and shout out to you. Um, I'm excited to, uh, to do our next homes on the grid episode, our next speed build, <clears throat> um, our 1000 subscriber gift. Once I finally figure out what it is, um, and just keep building, I guess. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.